Hello, it's Aaron here from Last Stand Gamers, and today I'm bringing you some gameplay from Ninth Company, Roots of Terror. It's a strategy game that's based in the Afghan-Soviet conflict. Basically, you're probably thinking right now, okay, what am I watching here? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the second mission, I'm, I'm going to do this live. I'm commentating it live now, and I'm going to be telling you what I'm thinking about. I'm going to be giving you a few wacky fact files and so on, and just telling you a bit about history, as well as just playing it through and jo enjoying the game. So obviously, just sit back and enjoy some nice high quality, well, well not, not high quality, but, but graphics that are absolutely enjoyable, and it's a conflict that you don't often see. So what's happening here is um, we've got to seize a town and destroy a caravan not a caravan that you go on holiday in, it's a caravan of arms that the Mujahideen are using. So let's go into a little bit of a fact file about the Afghan war. So basically in 1979 the Russians basically invaded, well not officially invaded, they were called in as support for the Afghan government that was communist and they wanted some support so they started causing a little bit like um, they called in a few airframes and then they started bringing in a little bit more they brought in a tank division and then it got out of hand fast obviously they had to protect the president and then it just got more and more forces until basically what happened was the Soviet Union were basically guarding and keeping the towns of Afghanistan secure Why the uh, Mujahideen just basically roamed around the countryside at their own free will the Russians tried a lot of attacks on them but obviously with an insurgency what can you do? So what I've done here is I'm sending some guys out in front of my vehicles to clear some mines. Obviously in these games, and in Afghanistan itself, it's, the mines have been planted there for ages. I mean, there's French, um, all sorts of different countries have planted mines, tried to do things. I mean, there's been hundreds and hundreds of conflicts in Afghanistan. Not just between the people, but there's been so many foreign sort of powers there. I mean, and this is just the Russians' turn. I mean, it was referred to as the Russians' Afghanistan, or the bear trap, that some people refer it to. So I'm going to push my vehicles up, try to give these guys um, a little bit of cover, the best I can do. Um, obviously, the main aggressors are going to be sort of insurgent forces, so I should fight, be able to fight them off with these vehicles quite well. I'm not expecting tanks. It's the second level, and let's just say I was not very good at the first mission, and I wasn't very good at the training. So don't expect to see some amazing strategy out of me because I've not played this mission ever before and I'm just going with it okay so let's move the men up um, since that guy's not doing very good I think the mine detector actually has a better range than the guy just walking along the road with his eyesight but it's Russian style there's a guy walking down the road with the mine detector guy behind him he's pushing it I'm trying to keep my vehicles on the road here and oh, it's, it's, it's a little bit stressful it's a little bit stressful I don't think the auto binds the road, so it involves a little, lot of patient clicking and um, getting a little bit aggravated. That's that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to move them up here. I'm just going to take this mission quite slowly and try to sort out each thing as I come across it. Obviously, if I'm in the middle of a conversation and I get distracted, um, it's because of, probably because I'm being attacked or I'm trying to fight off some guys. So I'm going to move this vehicle up. I'm going to move that up, and I'm just, just uh, to basically disembark the troops. Because what I learned from the last mission after I took a lot of casualties and I lost quite a few vehicles... Um, send your infantry up first, recon the area, if it gets too hairy for them, bring in the cavalry, keep the vehicles on the low road, get infantry on the high road, and put some fire down on the below. Um, the Russians' approach in Afghanistan was probably something that was quite controversial. Basically, their idea, after the basic official sort of warfare sort of failed, it was the idea of if they hurt or kill the people that are helping the insurgency, it'll simply stop itself. So basically what the forces did was they completely wiped out villages and so what the hell? Okay, that's having machine gun and we've got runners. Hopefully no suicide packs, right? We're gonna put everyone on hold and take cover. And basically let the 30mm do its job. Okay, we've got a guy taking cover. What's that? Is he firing an RPG? We got took a direct hit there. Okay, we're out of range, you know, he's crawling up on us, so I'm gonna have to send the infantry in, so I've got to select them quick. So I'm not gonna be able to get a shot with the BMP. So I'm just going to have to run them up the hill. I know there's a heavy machine gun around here though, so I don't want it to take me out. They're trying to crawl up. We've got 30mm going off. This is this could be quite costly for me as well. Hopefully don't lose too many casualties. We've got a heavy machine gun there. I'm going to have to grab the vehicles in a moment and help them deal with that. Oh no, the troops have done it. Oh, I took, I took a few casualties as well. Jeez, that guy was fragging the hell out of me. Got a casualty there. I'm going to have to get some medical attention on He's just crawling up. Right, get the vehicles up there. I mean, the vehicles are such a supportive role in this game. 
I mean, you'd expect um, the air support to be a bit more, but it seems like the Russians don't have air support on demand as much as the Americans do now. Obviously, I mean, with the Soviet sort of um, style of command in the real world scenarios as well, they didn't have ease of access like the Americans do today. It's very strange because it is two very different approaches you see today compared to what they did then. I mean, it's weird to say, but I mean, the, the Russians caused the Afghan and the people to live in fear and it really scared the hell out of them. But I mean, it, all it did was grow the insurgency. Um, here we go, just basically wiped out that assault, but oh, I think the BTR is going to be going down. Hold on, we've got a guy fleeing. No, he's walking away. He's walking away, he's not fighting. No, he's, no, you know what he's trying to do then? He's trying to blend in to be a civilian, but my Russians were just having none of it. Having none of it at all. Okay, so the BTR basically is on fire, and that means it's only going to last so long before it um, either catches the fuel tanks and just basically it goes up. So what we're going to do is get the infantry back down here. We're going to get them across the river. We're going to attack the next location. So a bit. let's get back onto the fact file. So what we've got here, we've got a BMP-2 with a 30mm cannon, and we've got a PK, uh, PKT, I believe it's called, in the turret with it as well. Uh, it's not the later BMP model that's got the... Um, missile that's on the top, I think it's called Ikla or something similar. Um, not an Ikla to confuse that with, that's an anti-aircraft missile. And we've got the BT, uh, BRDM and basically this is like an infantry support armoured car. It's got a 12.4 um, caliber machine gun and it's got a PKT again I believe, like a PKM but I think it's the vehicle equivalent um, right, okay, let's move up. So I've got a bit of fact file on the vehicles here. I mean, there's more vehicles in this game because um, when I first started out, they only showed me um, the BMP and the um, T-64, I believe. It was the gas turbine version of the T-72. Obviously, if you're not a gun nut like me, you're probably going, Aaron, you're just shouting numbers at me and it's not helping me at all here, so please get back to the game. Okay, well, I've identified there's a nice little parked abandoned caravan here and I've disembarked the crew from the BTR. Because basically it's going to be on fire and I don't want them exploding in the water. Obviously it'd probably make reverse effect and probably put out the fire. But I've got to do it anyway. Uh, what's happening here, if you didn't read that little bit of a note. Um, I just quickly read it and it said these guys on the other side of the river. So I'm just going to call in an airstrike of an SU-25 that should be in around 10 seconds. I'm going to send this across to recon. Um, and not everyone can fit in the actual vehicle itself. So what I'm going to have to do... Is, um, there's going to have to be some wet tank crew, uh, well, BTR crew. Um, so basically, I'm going to send them across after the recon. There goes the SU. Frogfoot, beautiful job. Beautiful job. And it seems like they are pulling back from the riverbed, so it should be safe to cross, I guess. Okay, so let's get that BTR across. Okay, just keep. The thing with the line of sight on these vehicles, it's not too good either. So I'm just trying to play it as safe as possible and use the BMP to support it. So if anything spots that BTR, then I can deal with it. So we'll push the BMP up and hopefully we'll be able to take it out. Oh sh what the hell is that? Oh my god, this is not good. There's infantry on the back of that BMP. Kill it, kill it, please. Please kill it. Anyone, shoot. No. I did not lose the whole everyone in that BMP. I just lost everyone inside the BMP. And this thing's not even got a proper crew in. So I'm just gonna have to ram it. Oh my god. Oh my god, the Daka Daka gun. Really? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. So, okay. So what have I got left? Let's try to summarise what I've actually got left. Okay, I've got this vehicle. So, I don't know how long this will actually last because the fuel tanks are going to probably explode. And this is not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Sadly, I lost probably about 15 of my men inside that and I'm quite upset. And I've also all I've got is I've got two tank crew and I just checked the map. And there is apparently a guy over here. Oh, there he is. So we've got three men in total. And we've got a destroyer caravan convoy. So I'm not too feeling too happy about this. And I don't know if we'll be able to complete it. But we're going to go in anyway. Um, and if it becomes a defeat, then I do apologise. But I'm just going to go out and hopefully we will win. So who have we got here? I'm just going to give them some names. We're going we're to... This is... this. I, I mean... The Mujahideen don't know that these are tankers, so the black outfits, let's just pretend they're special forces. And um, who, what's this guy? Should we give him a name? Um, let's call him um, Greg Gregory Smiggles, okay? That, that guy that's crossing the river now is Gregory Smiggles, and these two um, are the... Um, we need a really good name for this, don't we? Because these guys are going to have to save this mission. 
Um, I don't want to do typical stereotypical Russian names like Ivan and and Petrovich or something. Oh, we'll go with them anyway. We'll go with Ivan and Petrovich, the tankers. And we've got um, Gregory Smiggles here. Okay, so obviously I'm waiting for Gregory Smiggles to catch up because I believe he has a medical pouch. And luckily, Gregory, you were forgotten. Otherwise, you'd be in that smoking wreck right there. It's not a great way to end the day, and I don't see how something is smoking that is sunk in a river. But, we're in, we're in Afghanistan and anything can happen. Anything can happen. So we'll apply some first aid to him. Come on, hurry up, Gregory. Jesus. Mr. Smiggles here. Look, he's just walking. He doesn't even care. He's, he, he's just walking past the blown up wrecks. Hundreds of, of dead vehicles and so on. He doesn't, he doesn't care. And then we got and then we got these guys. He's got these hardcore. Look at these. Look at him. He's got his AK-74U. He's, oh, you know what this is a bit like, actually? If you've ever seen that film called The Beast, it's a bit like that. But hang on. No, they had a tank. It, no, it's not like that. It's not like that. If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just just search the beast, and you'll understand. So I'm giving this guy some first aid. Um, yeah, basically the beast film was about a tank crew, and basically they took the wrong way um, at a junction and got separated from the tank company. Um, so the Mujahideen basically went after him and tried to hunt them down. It's really good because basically one of the Russian soldiers betrays the rest of the guys and fixes the Mujahideen's RPG to take out the tank, and then for some reason he ends up with a musket. It's, I'm not going to explain, I'm not going to spoil the story for you. So we've got Gregory Smiggles here and Ivan and Petrovich. Uh, I probably forgot the, that guy's name, but it's the same thing. So we've got to assault this village now, and I don't know what exactly is here. I'm guessing this is probably going to be about mm, 20 plus militants, maybe a vehicle as well. I don't know, I've not been there before. Oh, there we go, we've got a guy lying down. Don't run away, Gregory. You're bloody the trained soldier here, the rest of the guys are just people in black gimp suits. Right, okay, okay, take them out, take them out, come on. Right, what should we do? Should we try some tactics here? Should we try pushing up or should we just, just sit back and enjoy this firefight? No, we'll sit back and enjoy. Gregory's doing a good job. Look at look how inaccurate these are. I mean, oh, there we go, we got him. Okay, I don't see anyone else. Oh, he's firing at someone though. Okay, there we go. Let's push him up. Where's, 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 where's Petrovich going? Oh, there he is. Okay, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try a little bit of tactics once we've killed this guy. Oh, PKM, PKM, get the PKM. Get the PKM. PKM, the support weapon, it's almost like a sniper rifle. It's not very good in this game. And in a game where one bullet kills, it, it's it's um, a very scary game. I mean, there is cover, you can use cover, but the cover is quite a basic system. Get um, Gregory Smiggles here to help patch the guys up. There we go, Gregory knows what he's doing. Hopefully, you know, in this campaign, I, you don't continue with the units you had from the last mission, or else I'm probably going to be quite screwed. Um, can these guys take him out? Firing across, firing across. They got He's in a little hole in the wall, and he's got himself an RPG. Hopefully we hit his RPG and it's, his face explodes. And there, there we go, and they can go wherever he wants to go. Um, this is going to be a bit of a prolonged firefight. Let's so move some guys a little bit closer, see if we can actually kill them. Okay, move him up. Oh, we got him, we got him. You see the ragdoll? That was cute. Right, what we'll do is I think we'll push up on the right here and then flank around right and then use the walls cover. And oh, we got a guy on the rooftop over there. And we got a guy apparently in this building somewhere. So let's get in a close up and see this guy. Okay, and a very nice, that's, um, that's a placement marker. Not to be alarmed, it's not a white ghost, everyone. Don't worry, it's just a placement marker for cover. Uh, we'll move up to that little gap there. See if it's as effective as that other guy on the other side was using it before. Uh, we've got Ivan there, just taking that guy out. Oh, there he goes. Beautiful shot, beautiful shot. Look at them covering each of the sectors as well. How nice is that? They knows what they're doing, these guys. Oh, 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 we've got a guy trying to come up the rear as well. Not anymore, my friend. Not anymore. Right, so what I'm going to do now is... The, the music has kind of calmed down a little bit. So this means... I've either completed the objective, or the combat has resolved, but that star means the objective is still here. So maybe it means that I've still got to search all the structures. So what I'll do is I'll start on the left side over here, and we'll just quickly go through all the structures and hopefully find the remaining insurgents. Yeah, we've still got to secure the area. Insurgents? Insurgents, I mean, sorry. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, there he is. He's in the other side. So let's see if we can just do a crazy attack and just storm this building with um, Gregory Smiggles here. Golden Gregory, look at that. Look at that. 
Oh, that guy's so surprised. Oh, look at that. Drop shot from a roof. No, he was not expecting that. Okay, we'll check this building. Nothing there. Uh, right, continue on. I do not know. I mean, I guess since the objective is not complete, it means someone's still in the area. There is a countdown timer on the top of my screen. You're probably wondering why you don't see a map in anything. That's because I'm playing it on realistic mode for you guys. Um, I can actually see a map here. But basically what I've done is I've just changed the dimensions of my screen so you can't actually see it. It That was probably a bad idea. I should, probably should have just let you see all the things that I can see. But I mean, it looks more cinematic, doesn't it? And exciting. So I don't know. Right, we've checked the left side. Doesn't seem to be anyone there. Like I said, £1.70 this game was. And so far, it is very so it is very hard to beat. There has been a few minor errors that have pissed me off. Megaly by by me near the end of the mission and then suddenly kicking me out and saying error but nothing like a little bit of mad saving every five or six minutes and you're good to go um what strategy games is this on par with you probably asking um well it's it's a little bit less than men of war um but i mean it's it's in a conflict that doesn't really ever get explored so i mean you're gaining and losing something and they bottled a lot of little um quirky little features that are quite interesting as well like these riding on vehicles and some of the weapons as well, it sounds quite good, the sounds well. I've not had any tank combat yet, so I don't know, but I mean, it's an insurgency, so I'm not expecting much, but the wreck of the T-34, oh, there was, I think that was the last guy. Was that the last guy? Oh, it was, okay. So what we have to do is we hear some engines, rum, rum. Okay, let's get a defensive position quickly. Select. Okay, I'm trying to select them now, rapidly. Okay, the vehicles are coming, but it's not letting me select them. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right, okay, we need to get in a building. It's going to be a caravan with, um, I mean, the ca basically the caravan club from North Wales are coming down the road now. And I've got to ambush them, so what I'm going to do is I've got to get up in this structure up here and basically take them out. Obviously, there's going to be some gas stoves and so on from when they're camping. Um, I hope it is this sort of caravan, or else I'm going to be rather confused. I mean, it, 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 the, if there's um, a Welsh flag on the side, then we, we, know, we, know, we know we're on the right target. I'm, of course, totally joking. Um, <laughs> you guys thought, oh, I'm off on one again. Uh, right, okay, let's get ourselves in the building. Um, oh, we're already engaging, it seems. Oh, there's the caravan. It looks more like a bus. That's a bit of a lie. Right, okay, I don't know how many rounds we've got left, so it might not end as well as I expected. And the bus drove right past me. I've not got a rocket launcher, so there's not much I can do. Um, we've got some jeeps driving past. Have we got a technical? No, 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 no. No, no. Oh my god, he just killed Gregory Smiggles. No one kills Gregory Smiggles, right? Let's go, let's go. Have these guys got any ammunition left? Because they are not shooting. I don't think we're going to be able to chase it down either. Come on. Come on, guys, you can do it. Come on, just forget. Gregory Smiggles died. And all you're doing is running after some vehicles. Look, the bus can't even drive properly. It's on fire. I mean, look what you did to it. I mean, these gas stoves on fire. The, the whole club are in there are crying. I mean, come on. I mean, you've got your black suits on. I mean, it's speed. What are, you, what are you doing? You're crawling. You've not even got your gun out. Jesus. What are these guys? They don't even know. I mean, they, obviously, they're tankers, and they're not as agile and fit. But, I mean, they could at least ch chase a pickup truck down a little bit. I mean, if an action sequence happened where he jumps on the back of the pickup truck, grabs it, uh, revenge kills for Gregory Spengel's attack, and then continues on across the actual river, it would be epic. Okay, so come on, we can get this. I don't know where this caravan's going, and on the map it says that the objective is right on the other side of this river. And that vehicle is going underwater, so technically the, the caravan's been destroyed. It's all good. Can we get on this machine gun in time? I very much doubt it, because they are deciding to take a break before they swim. <sighs> right, I, I do apologise, guys, but it, it's not looking very... Good. This, yeah, it looks like we're not going to be able to win this. I do apologise. This is my second game. Um, we, we, no, I'm, we, I'm not going to say we're going to lose yet. We've still got a chance. We've surely got a chance. No. Oh, okay. Okay. You, you, you got the caravan and you let it get away. Defeat. Okay. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry. Gregory Smiggles died for no reason. Remember him.